So quickly, kids, we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of capitalism. First of the advantages, we've talked a lot about this in class, but uh, they would basically be that uh, consumers have a lot of choices in capitalism as far as what they want to buy. Uh, usually what they buy, they're going to find the lowest price and the highest quality. And uh, on the producer side, if you have an idea and it, and, and, uh, it takes hold, you make a lot of money uh, and you get to keep most of that money. So you work, you eat, you get it. On the other side, there are some disadvantages of capitalism. Uh, capitalism requires uh, individuals to uh, basically uh, do whatever it takes to win. And uh, therefore, it might lead to a lack of compassion. Sometimes monopolies uh, can form in a free market system. Uh, it does favor the rich. If you got money, you can make more money off of the system as well. And probably one of the biggest things, uh, one of the disadvantages or the biggest disadvantage is that it will oftentimes lead to a wealth gap. Uh, we'll talk more about the wealth gap uh, in class. And again, these things, uh, we'll go through these in class. Uh, I want to take a little bit of time now to go through the different types of markets that exist here in Minnesota and the United States uh, under our free enterprise system. The first is a pure monopoly. A pure monopoly is a situation when there is one seller of a product and these firms uh, have a great deal of control over the, the price of that uh, product or that service. Uh, and the product itself is pretty, uh, pretty standard. Uh, for example, in a pure monopoly, uh, we may associate different utility companies like cable, electric, gas, and phone companies as a pure monopoly. Another type of market that exists in a free enterprise system is oligopoly. In this type of a market structure, there are very few sellers that provide most of the goods and services. Their products are fairly standard, um, and these uh, individuals, or rather these corporations, rely very heavily on advertisement to distinguish themselves from uh, other competitors. Uh, examples of the oligopoly would include uh, things like the automobile industry, the tire industry uh, as well. Monopolistic competition uh, has many sellers in the market and they work very hard to differentiate their goods and services from another competitor. Uh, so they too will it, it, uh, use advertising as a tool uh, and they will invest heavily also in emerging uh, markets. Examples of monopolistic competition include grocery stores, restaurants, and drug stores. Uh, monopolistic competition usually has a lot of uh, competition amongst these stores leading to lower prices for the consumer. The last that we're going to talk about is pure competition and in pure competition there are many 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 sellers of the products and the products and services here are very standard in fact they're pretty much identical and examples here would be agricultural products and minerals uh, that are sold from one place to the next. So corn is corn and wheat is wheat and you can't really differentiate them all that much.